$14,000 in 45 days, 13,000 sales in under two years. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's story could make you a ton of profit. Yep, that's right. Today we are talking about a TikToker who generated over $260,000 in sales in less than two years using TikTok. And what you're about to learn can be used with no skills, no money, and no advertisements. Yep, that's right. This is something anyone can do. If you got a cell phone, you can get paid. Oh yeah, and did I mention this video is gonna have a little bit of drama because the first person we're gonna talk about who generated over $260,000 in just two years got herself in a little bit of hot water. This next TikToker who generated over $14,000 in her first 45 days, yeah, she also got in some hot water. More about that in just a minute. First, let's take a look at some of these stats. On TikTok, Pickle Me Everything has over 145,000 followers. And while most of her videos are around the 50,000 view mark, some of them peak up to 500,000 or a million views each. And all she's doing is talking about pickles, which apparently is a huge trend here on the TikTok. And if you were to take the total amount of sales at 13,685 and times that by the average price of about $25 each, that's over 325 grand in pickle sales, all for making a couple of funny TikTok videos. Like I said, this can be done with no skills, no money, no ads, and using your cell phone. But first, let's talk about why this is effective. If you were to break down TikTok's ad revenue over the last four years, you're gonna see that they went from 340 million to almost $12 billion last year alone. And the average number of users grew by 10 times in the last five years. But how does someone like Pickle Me Everything go on TikTok, film some videos about pickles, and make over 300 grand? Well, more about that in just a minute. And we could see here just on TikTok alone that over 24 million people have viewed videos with the hashtag pickle me everything. We can also see that on Etsy, she's got tons of sales, tons of videos about pickles, not to mention the fact that each and every month, hundreds of thousands of people are looking for pickling recipes and how to make different pickled items. Honestly, I had no idea that this niche existed. And we could see that people are looking for red onion pickles, pickled garlic, pickled eggs. That's just nasty. Okra, watermelon, jalapenos, and on and on we go. We can also see people looking for how to make various pickled items. Not to mention the countless number of sites that are actually selling pickles and talking about pickle recipes and different things like that. So now we know that pickles bring in lots of money. What Pickle Me Everything tried to do is actually sell the pickles herself. Yeah, that's right, she made them in her kitchen, talked about them, made videos where she's making the pickles, and sold them via Etsy. Only, apparently, you can't do that. And before you say, well, Marcus, here's a young gal trying to start a business, are you just hating on someone who's successful? Of course not. While I applaud her business antics and her go get em attitude, there's certain things you just can't do. One of them is ship food from your personal kitchen, especially if you live in California. We could see here that the state of California recommended people not buy these pickles. And this comes a short time after a famous TikToker known as Chef Pie sold some kind of pink sauce from her own home kitchen. And I don't know where these TikTokers get off thinking that they can just start a food business. Today, we are making the viral peanut butter sandwich in a cup. First, you take some peanut butter. I like that. Then. You're gonna want some jelly. Add some sugar cubes to sweeten it up a bit. A little bit of milk so it goes down easy. And sometimes after lunch, I get tired. So I'll be adding a heaping spoon of coffee. To get your very own sandwich coffee tea in a cup, check out my Etsy, Unsanitary Foods. We're ready to ship this direct to you. But there's some certain health guidelines and laws they need to pay attention to. Which is why today I'm gonna show all those TikTokers out there seven ways you can legitimately make money without dealing with these food laws and different things like that with your TikTok following. Actually, some of these methods have made me 10 times as much as Pickle Me Everything or even the Pink Sauce Lady. Because first, while I don't wanna say that these people are great business people, they did do one thing right. 
And that's the use of TikTok to get traffic to something that can actually sell. So if we know we can use TikTok to get free traffic by simply making videos about certain topics and being super consistent, well then there's a lot of ways we can get paid. And if you don't wanna be on camera or you don't yet have a big audience on TikTok, don't worry, here are some simple methods you can use to start getting traffic like that. First, you want to refine your niche. That is, figure out what you're gonna make videos on and focus it. One of the things that Pickle Me Everything did really well is she focused on one narrow thing. She could have been a generic cooking channel, but it wouldn't have been as successful starting out. Instead, she focused on one specific path. So let's say you didn't want to use your face, but you wanted to be in the stock market category. You could quite simply go out there, number two, consistency, and create stock market definition videos. You define all the stock market terms, make a simple little video, and boom! As long as you're consistent and you focus on what people are searching for and already watching, you can get traffic. And the third way to get tons of traffic on TikTok is collaborations. This is where you can collaborate with other content creators or you could simply tag them and share something about their video. I have a friend who did this and went from zero to like 500 million views in a couple of months. And yeah, it's a lot easier than you'd think. The key is to be consistent, niche specific, collaborate, and number four, make good videos. Obviously you wanna make stuff that's good. Whether your face is on camera, whether you're using your voice, or whether it's just screen sharing with music, you wanna make sure that it's something people want to watch. And remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Personally, I have no interest in watching pickle videos. However, millions of other people do. So I wanna make sure that I create what the audience wants to watch. Now, let's talk about the seven ways you can make money without the legal headaches of selling things that could get you in hot water. Method number one is to sell a custom pickle kit or a kit as an affiliate. You can simply go out there and put products together and make your own pickle canning kit and have some videos or tutorials or something like that. And since people like you, that's actually what's selling. The reason the pickles sell well is because she's doing videos and people like her. Very important. Now, if you're doing this, you can actually go out there and sell a custom pickle kit for as much as like $40 or more. If you look over here on Amazon, you can see that some of these kits are like $45, $9, $26, $31, and on and on we go. So these are really, really expensive. Now, if you don't wanna go out there and create your own course or kit or something like that, you could actually sell these on Amazon for commission, or you can be an affiliate of some of these as well. So that's really cool. It's a way you can make lots of money. Another way you could do this is simply going over to Alibaba and maybe finding a pickle kit on here, although some of these look kind of weird and I don't know what the legalities are of actually selling whatever that is. Maybe we could type something in like canning kit food. Okay, now we're getting somewhere where we can actually sell the tools that they need to make the pickles. And number two, affiliate marketing for related products. As I mentioned earlier, you could go over to Amazon, become an affiliate like that, and sell different pickle kits. But you could also go to places like ClickBank, JVZoo, Digistore24, Commission Junction, or other places that have offers related to pickling, canning, and recipes. What you wanna think is that your audience likes you. We're gonna talk a little bit more about this in a little bit, but your audience likes you, which means they're gonna like the things that you recommend. So if you have a certain fermentation method course or book that you like, you can see here that this thing sells for like $40 and you get 50%. So essentially you're making the same amount of money, but you never have to touch any products, deal with any legal nightmare. You're just an affiliate. They sell the recipe book and boom, we're off to the races. And this is actually something that pickling people might be into, which is all about fermented products and probiotics and all kinds of stuff like that. So yeah, this could be super profitable. And all I would need to do is grab my ClickBank affiliate link or Commission Junction or whatever affiliate program you're using, slap that up on my website, and boom, I'm ready to go. I can even use a service like TinyURL and shorten the URL. However, I would highly recommend getting your own website. You're gonna find out why in just a minute. 
Number three, you could actually partner with a commercial kitchen, have them make your product safely and according to the guidelines, and split the profit with them. Jeff Pye recently did this, and apparently the pink sauce is now at Walmart, which with images like this, seems like the perfect place for it. But I digress. She actually partnered with the kitchen, they make the product, she's a brand behind it, and boom, you're ready to go. We saw this happen with Mr. Beast and Mr. Beast Burger, which we talked about last week. Check out that video in the description. And now, number four. This is where you're gonna want a website. You can make a recipe newsletter. This is where the profit really starts to stack up. You see, people are coming in because they like your videos. And when they like your videos, let's say you do some sauerkraut or you pickle garlic or jalapenos or something, and they really like it. You say, go to my website, and you get a good website like pickleperson.com or something like that. They go to the website and you say, go to my website to get the recipe for the pickling video you just watched. And since you really can't give them a printable version of the actual recipe, it's natural for them to go to your website. On the website, you say, put your name and email in the box. When they put the name and email in the box, they now go on your newsletter, which means you can email them every time you come out with a new video, a new recipe, an affiliate product, something to buy, a course, or whatever it is you have, you can now email them and get that traffic over and over and over and over again. Just imagine if the pickle lady had over a million people on her newsletter that were interested in pickles. She could then update them on what's going on with the legal process, when the pickles will be ready. She could come out with her own pickle recipe book. She can come out with a, with a pickle recipe course. The sky is the limit, and this is super profitable. And in order to do this, all you need is a website with an autoresponder, which costs about six bucks a month. Having an email list or newsletter is one of the most profitable things I've ever done as an online business owner. And now, number five. Create a pickle coaching club. Over here, you could see a YouTube channel that you might not know about. I've actually been sober for almost nine years and I started a YouTube channel with a friend of mine to show people some of the things that we did to get and stay sober. Now, of course, since this is a sensitive topic, we have lots of disclaimers and all that stuff. But what you're gonna notice here is we actually put our videos here and then we tell people, if you wanna join our coaching or listen to some MP3s of us, go ahead and join our recovery class. Over here, they can pay $27 a month, get access to all the things that we've created for them, and everyone's happy. Not to mention the fact that when you have a monthly recurring payment, it adds up extremely quick. Just last year, I started promoting one of mine, and now it makes like $15,000 a month on autopilot without me doing anything extra. Number six would be to start a blog and run ads. You can actually start a blog. Let's say you're doing pickles. You would have the pickle blog. Put all your recipes, put all your cool stuff, run affiliate ads, paid ads, put links to your courses or whatever it is you're selling, and boom, you're ready to go. And number seven, my favorite tip is to do all of the above and make lots of money. If you're out there getting an audience, you wanna make sure that you monetize it in the right way. And I know from a lot of my peers that the amounts they're getting paid for their traffic is really, really small because they're not doing it correctly. But if you focus and listen to your audience and think creative about what you can offer them and how you can get paid, then the sky is literally the limit. So smash the like button and check out the videos in the description.